So we are here at West Elm, Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, we are here to help you guys kind of go through the process of decorating, styling your space. Um, if you need assistance, you see we have a plethora of everything. This is a, a collab that I'm really excited about. Partner with West Elm, Jocelyn's gonna be our host from West Elm today. We also have Jordan here and he's from Old Town. I wanna say- Old Town Apothecary. There we go. I didn't wanna mess it up. So um, I'm excited about it because I feel like that there's not a lot for men to learn about their space, um, not just their space, but about their style. And I think that style and your space goes hand in hand. Um, once you have an idea of where you want to go with your personal style, it kind of bleeds into your style as far as your home is concerned. Um, so we're super excited about having each one of you here. Um, we're going to start with Jocelyn and she's going to go through some design elements. So we're going to talk about three different design aesthetics that West Elm has here. And they are pure, it's modern, and it's global. Okay, so pures are gonna be your wood, your metals, your glass, your whites, um, the colors that are neutral and simple. Um, and Sheree, what kind of design or personal style might go along with uh, a pure, pure So a style? pure is gonna be like your denim, a lot of classic whites, a lot of classic blues mm -hmm. and grays. So, um, and then you mix in some elements of earth, whether it be green, whether it be like a brown or anything that's gonna be earth tone. So like this gentleman here <laughs> would be our example of pure for sure. <laughs> All right, and then we have modern. And that's gonna be a little bit more color. Um, the, you have your, your geometric sense shapes and it's gonna be a little bit toned down from global. So just to give you an idea, we're in global right now, okay? So you got different styles, different shapes. Um, and then in modern, it's gonna be a little bit more simple, not as simple as pure, but we get a little bit into the uh, patterns and color. So as far as design or personal style, how would you have a modern type feel? I would say that that goes into the simplicity of your look, yeah. adding a little bit of um, texture, maybe yeah. in a tie or a little bit of color in your accessories, and that's how it blends into modern. Definitely. Um, and like I said, we're in global, so it's color, it's pattern, it's mixing it all. Um, you can see it. Um, complementary colors, contrasting colors. Um, Anything that you can think of. It's a little worldly. It's worldly. There you go. Thank you. Um, so what did we do for personal style from a global perspective? That's a person a little bit more adventurous. So you're going to see like bold patterns on a shirt or bold patterns on a sweater. Really bright colors. Um, a mixture of patterns. So that's definitely someone that, you know how you just see somebody come through a room and you're just, they stand out immediately, like there's no way that you're gonna look around them because whatever they're wearing is so bold, whether it be through color or through shape, and that's where the gold glass yeah. comes in. Um, so I have pure in my hand. You can see again, the whites, it's simple, the woods, the industrial style. Um, it's definitely what you get in here, real simple. I have modern. Yep, you see the, the Spots of colors, you see the pattern, but again, it's one color. Um, so again, it's simple, but it's a little bit more, a little bit more texture, a little bit more pattern. And then Global just has a mind of its we own. Yes. Global's a little bit more like if you travel a lot and you start collecting things along the way. Yes. You're gonna have like a rug from Argentina, you're gonna have a curtain from Egypt. You, yes. you know, I don't I don't know. But it's about it's about really like accentuating certain pieces, correct? Mm -hmm, right? That's correct. Yeah. So it's a little bit more eclectic. Yeah. And know that you can definitely blend your styles. Um, you don't have to pick one or the other. This is your free reign space to do whatever you want. Sometimes if you have you know, two people with different styles, is it easy to combine some of those three worlds, like two of those worlds into one? I don't see why not. Yeah. I, Me personally, just in my space, I wouldn't define it as like truly specific, pure modern or global. Um, I just like what I like. So I think if yeah. you like what you like and trying to make it, you know, pair well together, I'm all about complimenting. It doesn't have to be exact same match, you know, as long as it looks good. As long as you right. feel good about it, I think that's what's most important. Okay. Don't be afraid to like take something home, put it in the space and see if that really works for you because just like a suit, 
just like anything else that you try to put together, you'd be surprised at what pieces can actually go together. And the great thing about like, you know, West Elm and you know, my company as well, and I'm sure his company is, you know, we can show you how to mix those elements, you know, whether it's your personal style, whether it's the style in your home, whether it's like, do you have oily skin or combination skin or how is your hair and, and different things like that. So I don't think anybody's any one thing. So just learning how to mix those things and then using the expertise of the people that are around you is how you find like your signature style. I think everyone has something. It's just a matter of tapping into it and figuring out what that thing is. And the one thing that I like about all three of our businesses is we don't try to dictate to you what it should be. We want to ask you questions and tap into you and see what you like and see how it makes you feel and see if that works for you. <laughs> he said it's overwhelming. That's why we're here to help. All right, guys, so we are in the pure section of the store. So as mentioned earlier, we were looking at plants. We have plants over here. Just take it all in. Um, again, like I said, this is the pure section. You see your whites, you see your glass and your woods and your metals. OK, it's very clean and airy up here. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. We know you like plants. They're right there. So we know that you'd be taking that home, right? Right. And then we have, of course, the throws and the baskets. Let's take this. Let's take this setup for example. Yeah. So this is. I mean, if we want to consider this a pure setup, because we have our woods, we got our stone, we yep. got our marble, and our plants. Super sweet. You got a girlfriend or a boyfriend who you live with, and you they got more of a global aspect to their style. Switch this rug out for something. You know, yeah, a, a little like more dancing. Rug, there a little we little go. More worldly, and then Bohemian. you can buy two styles. So odd numbers tend to be the thing. So odd pairs of pillows or odd pairs of vases. Uh, we got odd pairs of deck act right here. Um, so odd numbers tend to be the thing. But again, if you like uh, asymmetrical, meaning everything is the same on each side, that is your preference. Um, so I'm always cold and throws do look good, right? So it could be nice and neat and if you want it, you know, to sit it to a side, of course, if you have a console in the back, then you might pick with that side. Or you can get more sloppy with it and just throw it, literally. Ta-da! You know, so it, it really is about what looks good to you. I throw, literally, I, I throw them and wherever it lands, for the most part, is where it stays. All right, next is modern and it's gonna be in the center of our space here. So how does this space differ from our pure space, you think? Color. 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 Yeah. Somebody tell me their favorite color. You like red. OK, so let me ask you this question. Is there any red in your space? Rugs. OK. OK. All right, well, good. So our favorite colors do influence, you know, our space. Uh, mine and my space are green and I like blue as well. Blue is more so upstairs just for the rooms and the calming piece of it. They're warmer colors. Our pillows here actually have inserts in them and you could buy just the pillow cover and switch out your covers for a seasonal look or refresh. Those are easier options than changing out, say, a chair or a sofa. Um, so sometimes people pick a more neutral color for a sofa. If you like color and color's good for you, there's nothing wrong with picking out a sofa that, say for instance, might be that red color right there, okay? The great thing about, like you said, you like pure, the great thing about pure is just like your style, you can make it as versatile as you want and you can change it like seasonally. Like you may switch your pillows out. You may feel one way in the wintertime and one way in the summertime. Um, and it's the same thing with your style. There are some things that you're gonna gravitate from your personal style in certain you know, seasons. And then there's in the spring, you may be a totally different look than you would in the fall or winter. So we talked about pure, we're in modern, and we're gonna go back to global, okay? So you guys definitely see more pattern in this space, don't you? Yes, yes. What else do you see in this space? Different textures? The velvet. The velvet? It feels good, doesn't it? I'm a, I'm a pure, right? Like if you walk into my home, it's basically like my table set up. It's wood, there's concrete, there's moss, because I like, I like to bring the outdoors inside, right? There's plant life. 
But then I'm when it comes to my artwork, I'm a global person, yeah. right? That's where that's where my pop of colors come into. That's where my my textures will come into. If pure is your style, then a good way to accent or bring in other other elements is through your art or through your lighting. So those were the three design aesthetics uh, here at West Elm. We wanted to just touch base, get familiar with them. So the bed. So tell me, do you guys know what a duvet cover and a duvet insert is? Is there anybody that doesn't know what a duvet cover or insert is? This is a chore, like for real. <laughs> Seriously, do you have a duvet? Yeah. Does everybody have one on their bed right now? Yeah? No, this would replace your comforter essentially, okay? So for those of you not 100% familiar, um, you probably wouldn't have a comforter if you have a duvet. And we use two inserts. You don't have to use two, but we do. It makes it look more fluffier. So that's a trick if you want to. So you all know for the most part, we'd have to take this entire cover off, right? Um, and then for me, I learned the hard way. You probably want more than one of these, right? Because if you have one, then you take it off, you have to wash it, and then you gotta wait, and you're like, I don't, yeah. So have more than one of these, just so you can take this one off and you can put another one back on. Um, we're not gonna necessarily take this one all the way off. We just wanted to give a visual of the, the comforter duvet insert is inside of the duvet cover, okay? Tell me the two type of sheets that you have on your bed. What's this one called? Fitted, Fitted. all right. And this one is, what'd you say? Top sheet, what else is it called? Flat, Flat. You, you have it. I, I say this just as a caveat. I don't even know if we sell them. Mattress cover, have them. Have more than one, okay? All right, we do. Um, waterproof, I suggest waterproof, bed bug proof, mattress covers. Yeah. You will find them, you can order them on the internet as well. If you can, find them locally, it is essential and it'll protect the life of your mattress. Too. Yeah, all right. So we have a flat sheet and of course this is preference, to your color preference. You like white, you said you like this pattern. Um, what are some other colors you guys are using on your bed? Gray. Gray. Um, those are relaxing colors, right? Does anybody go bold in their bedroom at this time? I know some people do. Are you bold or are you? All right. Yeah, purple over here. Purple, okay, all right. So for as far as the flat sheet, some folks will, you know, fold it down like this. It's, it's all in preference, you could pull it just do a straight. Now, what do you call this? A blanket. <laughs> this one is a coverlet, and we're just gonna fold it down. So you see how we're kind of layering this, right? So you can see the different patterns. All right, and then we're back to the lovely duvet. All right, so we're buttoning right now. <laughs> Tying and buttoning. And coverlet versus comforter, because I've I'm navigating between both. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I take my comforters to the dry cleaners, they never come back the same. Yeah. You know, they never feel the same. I feel like they're lumpy in parts that they weren't, you know, before. Yeah. So like, this is the migration that I'm going to because I'm like, I keep spending so much money on comforters and they never come back looking the way I want them to. So this is just an easy way to like, just be able to wash them and replace them through the seasons. All right, so we fluff it. You gotta get it in place. All right. And then you can do another quick, easy fold, or sometimes we do like the double fold so you get pattern. So there are gonna be three different sizes of pillows. So you have your standard. We all know what a standard is. We grew up with them. We're still using them, right? Unless you've moved on to a king, you might just have some king pillows, okay? This one's a Euro, it's square, like you said. It's 26 by 26, you can't miss it. Um, it's a big pillow, and normally these are um, styled against the headboard. They don't have to be, but again, it's all about personal preference. So she has one, and I have one. And you notice how they match the rest of the spread, but these two don't match each other. Then these are standard pillows. I don't remember how it was, but we had something like that. I don't think it was that pillow, but we had something like that. And then we had two decoratives. This looks good, Cherie. Thank you. I feel like I, you did all the work, but yes. 
so that's that's a bed for you. Um, and if you want to ottoman at the end and add some extra seating space, anybody ready to jump in? <laughs> this one looks comfortable, right? We're gonna wrap up, guys. I'd like to first thank Jocelyn and everyone here at Wells M for having us. I'm just, like I said again, really excited to have all you guys here and hope that you learned a lot and hope that you guys will come to another class down the road. We're here for you. <laughs> thank you guys so very much.